Everyone, so it looks like DeJounte Murray may be a Los Angeles Laker uh, pretty soon. Uh, according to Shams, Atlanta wants to find a third team to take on D'Angelo Russell in order to complete a DeJounte Murray trade with the Lakers. It's centered around D'Angelo Russell, 2029 first round pick, and a pick swap, I'm told. The holdup uh, was that Atlanta wanted to find a third team for D'Angelo Russell. So this is something that, you know, I've discussed. There was that report, well, like a week or so ago now, maybe a little longer, um, that this would most likely be a three-team deal and that the Atlanta Hawks don't want to keep D'Lo because they're afraid that he's going to opt into his deal and they want to get some expiring contracts. I even made the video about the idea of San Antonio and we'll touch on various teams that are linked right now because we do have news in that department. But as far as the D'Lo for DeJounte Murray trade goes, I still am in the camp of trade Austin Reeves. I am. Like, keep, like, the thing is that if you get DeJounte Murray, you probably got to trade D'Lo regardless. But could you keep a first if you traded D'Angelo Russell, right? So, like, the trade is a D'Lo, Jalen Huchifino was, like, the full deal. D'Lo, Jalen Huchifino, first round pick, and now apparently a pick swap. Right, whether they include Jalen and Shafino or not, we'll see. Um, now, if this is an expanded deal and it's like, you know, because Rui Hachimura, he looked upset, and there's a lot of rumors that he may be on his way out too, going around. So, what if it is something where you know, Lakers are getting a Clint Capella uh, and, and then a deal, or they're getting some other piece in the deal? Okay, maybe that makes sense. But D'Lo and essentially two firsts for Dejounte Murray. I don't think Dejounte Murray is two firsts of an upgrade. Right? Like, if you were giving up D'Lo in a pick swap, okay, I get it. He's kind of your long-term solution at point guard, right? You got your basically all-star point guard with athleticism for now and post-LeBron James, right? You're in good shape. You got DeJounte Murray and Anthony Davis going forward. I can see the direction, okay? But you're trading a first and a pick swap to, to what? To go get DeJounte Murray where... However you feel, DeJounte Murray better than D'Lo, which if he gets back to San Antonio DeJounte Murray, then yes, he's better than D'Lo. The Atlanta DeJounte Murray, not so sure. Now, regardless, even if you think DeJounte Murray is better than D'Lo, is DeJounte Murray worth two firsts on top of D'Angelo Russell? So... My hope is that the Lakers can find a third team that maybe gets more assets and the Lakers could maybe keep the pick swap or um, it's an expanded deal because I, again, I would rather trade Austin Reeves and like get it done now because Atlanta wants Austin Reeves, right? So maybe you could get the deal done today, give up Austin Reeves, get DeJounte Murray. Now you have like two weeks to kind of gauge and see, okay, what does it look like with D'Lo and Murray? You probably could keep your first round pick, and now you could look and package D'Lo, if it, assuming it doesn't work, you could package D'Lo, Rui, Gabe Vincent, and a first round pick, and go get other pieces. But now, it's like, the Lakers are going to trade for DeJounte Murray, and that's basically it. Like, what other things are they going to get? Right? Like, what other pieces are they going to get? DeJounte Murray is not going to turn the Lakers' season around by himself. Would he make them better? Possibly. There's also a good chance it doesn't. There's also a good chance it makes them worse. Because, um, again, he, he struggles finishing around the rim. He has his struggles playing off ball. Right? He defensively has been awful. Now, the idea is that he can get back to being, if he gets back to being like San Antonio, all defensive point guard who can give you 23 and nine a game with like six rebounds and get you like two steals and he can continue to shoot 40% from three, then absolutely the Lakers are going to be tough. Good luck, right? Good luck beating the Lakers, right? Especially come playoff time because then you really do have some athleticism. You got, in a, you know, an elite point of attack guard. And you got somebody that's shooting 40% from three. That version of DeJounte Murray would be incredible for the Lakers. But that version of DeJounte Murray hasn't been a thing for like three years now. And what's more likely? That that's going to continue to be the trend? Or 
that he just had a one good year and that was it. Right? Like we've seen plenty of guys have good years, good moments. So I'm just not sold on D'Lo and two firsts for DeJounte Murray. Now, if you're getting other pieces, then maybe that's a conversation. But teams that are basically in the loop, apparently, for potentially acquiring D'Angelo Russell, the Miami Heat have been heavily linked so far, right? They were in the conversations for DeJounte Murray and touched base for DeJounte Murray, but it looks like they don't want to pony up what it would cost for Murray. Here's the thing about D'Lo is any team is basically going to get D'Lo for probably free or pennies on the dollar, right? Because all of the assets are going to come from the Lakers. They just want expiring deals to, to kind of match. And maybe, you know, Miami throws in like a second or something like that, you know, for as a thank you for, for getting D'Lo. So whichever team goes and gets D'Lo, they're going to get him for probably nothing. They're going to get him for at most maybe two seconds. And... If he continues to play the way he's playing, there are several teams that can use him. Miami definitely could use D'Angelo Russell. They're also looking to move off of Kyle Lowry. Maybe they could work some deal out, work out some three-team deal where Lowry goes to Atlanta, you know, DeJounte Murray and something else goes to the Lakers, and then, you know, maybe uh, Miami's getting D'Lo plus some other pieces. Who knows, right? Three-team deals, speculate how you like down in the comments. Another team is the New York Knicks, although that I don't really see. I don't really understand that. I think they're trying to find an upgrade at the guard position and and a little more scoring power, but I just I don't see D'Lo making sense. Now, they do need to get off of Evan Fournier's contract, so if you could turn Evan Fournier into D'Lo, right, that's at least a guy that can help you. So maybe that can make sense, especially if you can't find anything better for Evan Fournier's contract. Like, you could do worse than D'Angelo Russell. It's just, how does D'Lo and Brunson look, right? And you're probably best at that point putting D'Lo at the point and making Brunson just be your two guard and let him just go get buckets, right? And Brunson played off of Luka, so he has comfortability, familiarity. And then D'Lo playing off of LeBron, they could both play off. Again, you know, I... uh it could be interesting. I might make a video on As It Stands Sports, kind of breaking down all these other destinations more thoroughly. This is a Laker channel, so I kind of want to keep it Lakers. But two other teams, San Antonio Spurs, team that I've thrown out there and I think makes a lot of sense. They could use a point guard of the future. They're a team that has interest in trading for uh, DeJounte Murray. But like I mentioned, you could go and give up two firsts and a bunch of assets to go get Murray or you could basically just get D'Angelo Russell for free. Why wouldn't you just get D'Angelo Russell for free? Unless you're that sold on DeJounte Murray, right? But then you're giving up a bunch of assets for. It. But if you're kind of like, you know, D'Lo is it too, is, is it worth two first compared to DeJounte Murray? Well, then let's go get D'Lo for essentially free. Another team is the Brooklyn Nets, right? So Spencer Dinwiddie is on an expiring contract. Uh, the Brooklyn Nets, they want to move off of Dinwiddie. There are reports that Dinwiddie basically has just been out there coasting, just basically essentially showing up to work to get a paycheck and then leave. Um, and they want some long-term answers. They also want a playmaker, somebody that can make some plays. Spencer Dinwiddie isn't really that. So the Brooklyn Nets are another team that could be interested in reuniting with D'Angelo Russell. Uh, so maybe Dinwiddie goes to the... Um, maybe they send Dinwiddie to Atlanta. Lakers end up getting... Um, DeJounte Murray, and then, you know, the Nets end up with D'Lo. I would love to try to get something like, can you get Royce O'Neal out of the deal? Like, if it's with the Nets, right? I just, I want to see the Lakers prize somebody else. If you're giving up two first, you got to get something else besides DeJounte Murray, right? You just got to, in my opinion. Um, whatever that is, that I just think that they need to get that done. If you got to trade Rui, trade Rui, whatever it takes to match salaries, but you got to go get another position of need, whatever that position of need is. Go get Clint Capella, right? Get yourself a real center. Get yourself Bogdan Bogdanovich. That would give you some shooting, three-point three, uh, three point sniper, a guy that can make some plays, kind of gives you another Austin Reeves type guy, um, you know, in the sense of like high IQ, can shoot, play off the ball well, right? Uh, I just... You got to get more. I just, I don't like the idea of just essentially D'Lo and two firsts for DeJounte Murray. 
Right? Again, I'm not saying that it won't work. It's very possible that DeJounte Murray, maybe he comes to Lakers and it is game busters and the Lakers are cruising and they are absolutely dominant and running away and catching back up and make the playoffs and are terrifying. Maybe they win the championship this year. I don't know, right? But there's also the other side of that, which is DeJounte Murray doesn't work like he does in Atlanta, and you get Atlanta DeJounte Murray over San Antonio DeJounte Murray, and now the Lakers are in trouble because they have no picks really to move off of. Well, I mean, it depends on what the Pelicans do, but still, my point is that you just you paint yourself in a corner, and I don't think DeJounte Murray by himself will make the Lakers, even if he is San Antonio Murray. You can make a real argument that DeJounte Murray doesn't won't make the Lakers a contender. Would he make the Lakers better? Absolutely. But how much better is the question. So to me, it's like I would rather go and try to go get multiple pieces. This is why I lean towards trading Austin Reeves, right? Because you can go and trade. D'Lo doesn't want to leave. The dude is on the bench literally crying, probably most likely because he got news that he's probably out the door any day now because these two teams are trying to figure out a third team. And they're going to get this deal done sooner rather than later. So D'Lo, if you could get D'Lo in a position to where he has a role and he has a home and he has everything, then I fully would expect him to stick around, right? But if you could trade Austin Reeves and keep a first, well, now you have D'Lo, Rui, a first, whatever. Or throw in Austin Reeves and go get Brog- uh, Bogdanovich and Clint Capella, right? Go trade D'Lo, Reeves, Rui, and just basically get a whole roster rehaul, and maybe now you'll be good enough to win a championship. I don't know. I just, again, I I, I don't... Look, if the Lakers make the move for DeJounte Murray, he has my full support. I'm rooting for him. I want him to be the best point guard in the league. Right? Because, again, if he has success, then the Lakers have success. He's on the Lakers team, I'm rooting for him. I, I'm, I'm hoping for the best. I'm going to be optimistic like I always am. Right, But we have to look at all sides of this coin here. We can't just assume that, you know, hey, it's a double-sided coin, right? You got to inspect it and make sure it's not just one-sided. So that's my concerns. But it, it just all signs point to the Lakers are going to get DeJounte Murray. It just, I mean, it's becoming abundantly clear at this point that that's, that's the direction that they're headed. That's what's going to ultimately happen. And I, I honestly, I'm, I'm, it, it's becoming one of those things where like any minute I'm, <laughs> I'm expecting this to get done. Like I'm just constantly like looking at my phone, you know, checking Twitter, checking everything, you know, making sure all my notifications are turned on properly. <laughs> like I, I'm just, I'm waiting for it. Cause you know, it's prob- most likely right around the corner. Um, but anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I pass the question on to you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. How do you feel? What do you think? Do you think the Lakers should do the deal? DeJounte Murray, do you think, no, you got to get more than DeJounte Murray? Um, again, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.